My name is Eli Pellart. I'm a public muralist located in New Orleans, Louisiana, and I'm the owner and founder of Brackish Arts. I'm really passionate about public art because I think it's one of the most direct and honestly easiest ways to bring art to the people and have people be involved. My process is kind of like a paint by number. I basically outline the mural and the colors that people are gonna use, and then they can come in and fill in the mural. This really results in people having um, a sense of ownership over the art that ends up in their spaces, as opposed to just having something cool show up one day. I gotta add an orange slot, and it doesn't seem like much, but it did make me feel happy inside. I'll look at it and be like, I did that. This past project with Adams County, Colorado was really phenomenal. It was located in the Twin Lakes Park next to the Clear Creek Trail, and we had a ton of kids work on this one. I would say the average age was between six and 16. It's an all ages activity, but this one definitely ended up being more kid focused. You would think when you hand kids some paint, they're probably gonna spill it everywhere, but these kids took a lot of responsibility and ownership over the process, and they did a great job. It's not that easy to make the community feel like they belong in their own place, and I think that this project has really done that and her process has been so wonderful and she's out there painting right alongside them and that has just been so monumentally powerful for especially these young kids I mean to just be able to work side by side with an artist. It depicts a mountain mahogany plant, which is very identifiable. It was one of the first plants that I saw actually at Red Rocks in Colorado. And it has a spiraling little section on it that sticks out all over the place with little fuzzies. And so I kind of abstracted that. It's got a knot tied in the middle that kind of mirrors the double lakes that exist along the trail. And it really represented a lot about um, my time in Colorado, my community in Colorado, and the ways that people can feel strongly connected to each other.